Hi friends, so today I'm here to talk about the Fuse tool. Um, it's a handy new tool we are Memory Keepers sent me to try out. They're coming out with a new kit on July 1st, which is going to be a great deal. And it comes with all sorts of things. It comes with 12 by 12 scrapbook pages, all different kinds of um, the plastic sizes that you would need for water pull pages or for inserts into cards to make little shaker cards, um, sequins, all little embellishments, all different kinds of things. Um, the fuse comes with the standard roller tip to fuse and also comes with a cutting tip and some decorative tips to fuse it together. Basically what it does is it heats up and you roll it along the plastic and it kind of seams it together. Essentially making your own little pockets, your own little things like that. I think for any scrapbooker this is a must have tool. I think it's really awesome. Um, now I gave up physical scrapbooking a few years ago because I just couldn't keep up with the mess in my house with my kids. I don't have a designated craft room so it makes it a little bit tricky. Um, but as a non-paper scrapbooker, I totally need one. Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to make these DIY backpack tags for my niece's backpacks for back to school. Um, using these, I'm just going to take one of the 12 by 12 sheets and I'm going to section it off and fuse it together and make different little individual tags using the embellishments and different things that come in this kit. Just to show you that it's so versatile. You don't have to, if you're not a physical scrapbooker, you don't have to say, I don't need this, you still need it. You can do lots of cool things. Um, so anyway, I think it's a great tool. I think everybody needs it. Let's get on to the tutorial of these backpack tags. Hi guys, I went ahead and designed all of the name tags in Photoshop just on a document and then I printed them out. Those are what I'm gonna use as the front of the name tags. I'm gonna use this backing that came with the kit. I think they're for cards. Um, but I really like the color and the texture of it. And I'm going to use that for the back of the tags. I'm going to go ahead and cut out um, the same size as the tag, so I'll have that all ready to go. Um, also, one thing to note is I wanted these to have a little bit of sturdiness to them. I didn't have any chipboard or anything on hand. So I went ahead and got some cardstock, plain cardstock. I cut it out in this size, and I'm going to head, go ahead and tape them together in layers add a little sturdiness and support to my tag and then I will tape on the front um, name tag and then I will tape on the back and then it'll be all ready for me to embellish also a side note I forgot to hole punch at this point so I had to go back in later with an exacto knife because my tag was too thick to hole punch for the key ring to go through so at this point before you start adding those layers um, you want to go ahead and make sure that you get a hole punch for that key ring, kind of at the top, whatever you want to be at the top of your tag. And these embellishments, um, they come in the kit with the fuse that's going to be available on HSN. So this all kind of goes together and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fuse them onto the paper tag so they will be all ready to go. These are the ones that I picked out. Um, and let's go ahead and fuse them on the tag. I'm going to start with the front, butterfly and heart, and then I'm going to move to the back. and attach the foil, also using the fuse. Now, if you'll notice, I'm not using my fuse stand. I just have a hard time getting it to stay in there. And I'm also kind of farther away from my outlet, so my cord is a little bit stretched, so it's kind of pulling on it. But you see, as long as you keep it on your mat, it should be pretty safe. It's a, the, the mat is specifically designed for the fuse. Okay, now that we have all of our embellishments on the tag, um, you can see these other ones I did, we're going to go ahead and turn them into tags using a 12 by 12 photo sleeve. I went ahead and cut this in half and I've already made a couple of these tags. I can show you what we're going to do here. I added sequins in them so they're kind of like a shaker pocket tag um, and then added the key rings and the key rings I just bought from the craft store. Even though I don't, you know, do 12 by 12 scrapbooking right now, I can still use these sleeves for so many fun projects. I plan to make some bookmarks, some cupcake toppers. Um, little shaker pockets, some lot of fun things that I have coming up. You can see I'm putting my hand in so you can see that the bottom is still intact because this is the bottom half of the sleeve. So we'll go ahead and place the tag in towards the bottom and I'm going to start from the bottom up rolling my fuse up. And I do apologize for the sun glare. Now it comes with these handy dandy rulers that you can just run your fuse right through to have a straight line. But for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going to freehand it and show you how it goes. You wanna make sure that you don't get it too close to what you're doing. You wanna give a little bit of room 
Otherwise, it seems like it might tear or the adhesion might not stay as strong. So I'm making sure to leave a little gap on the side where I'm going to run my thing through. And you'll note that I'm starting at the bottom and moving up. I find that that helps eliminate any gaps, ripples, or bumps or wrinkles in the plastic. If you kind of start one edge and move your way up, that way you can hold it secure. After I've done both sides, I'm going to go ahead and trim it down and add in my sequins. Okay, now that I have my sequins in, played around with that a little bit, I'm gonna go ahead and fuse the top and then I can go ahead and trim it. I see that I kind of did this a little bit too close to the side and my seam is opening up. So what I'm gonna do is kind of slide everything down, move it over to the side, and I'm going to refuse it. Um, which kind of sounds a little bit silly. Okay, that's perfect. And so now we're going to seal up the top. Just run your fuse along the seam again and trim the excess off the top and you'll be ready to add your key ring. I did not punch a hole in the plastic so I'm gonna kinda have to force it a little bit um, but it easily just pokes through. And there you have it. Cute little DIY backpack tags made using the fuse. Um, like I said, I love this little tool. I just see so many possibilities and I, I can't wait. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed these backpack tags. I think they're super cute for back to school and just to show you a little bit about what this kit can do. And feel free to follow me on my blog, bloominghomestead.com, for more projects, recipes, tutorials, um, free printables and ideas. And go ahead and subscribe to me on YouTube. I'd love to show you more of the fun things I have in store.